So like anything I can do. Oblivion period or I just said oblivion what ordo vision where did I see oblivion? <laughs> oh, that's the only one who's actually like interested in showing me okay um, BT illustration BT a parrot okay Chiral crystal. Crypto biotes discovered immediately after the stranding. Okay. Hartman's AED. Hartman's daughter. Unknown ore. Oh, okay, you don't even have a name for it? Alright, well, he's about to come up any second now. Oh, he's not gonna come back, is he? Oh, he did, okay. Now look. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films? No, I'm a pretty boring person. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, television shows, some very interesting shows. Sounds like the fucking Walking Dead. Stories. No, it Everything doesn't, okay. consumable within a 21-minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've 
read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery out of town in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void house. Holy fuck. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> People who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper home station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. Mm. When the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. 
shut up. I'm putting you on uh -oh. mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a Cairo way station. The whole incident defied explanation. I think Higgs is to blame. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. <laughs> but a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Sam. The air metal absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. What gentleman? What the fuck was that shit? <laughs> oh hell yeah. Got my legs back. Geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to <sighs> I just shut my door, they're getting way too loud. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an oh, boy. Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now hopefully I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high yield explosives, but in case I do, 
Make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. I'll get two? I don't know. I don't know where they're actually supposed to go. Sam, ADKGs. I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely I get it. careful with that amp. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. So I'll carry that on my back. Uh, this can go. Fuck. All right. So these are supposed to be here. So I want to go to this one first, and then I go to this one, and then I go to the last one. Over there somewhere. So, wait, 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 wait. That's useless. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life, but the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Let me make sure Last that that is not getting damaged right now. The container's been damaged? What? Due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Yeah! One sec!
Got my food. Let's get moving. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death, extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering them. I hate the fucking antimatter bomb so much. Many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. You're kidding. <clears throat> Alright. How close am I? How close am I? I mean... We're getting off. I don't care about what's on the uh, bike. I got everything I need on me. Fifty four per cent. How you need the anti matter bomb, right? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> How the fuck? You actually expect me to bring it that far without damaging it completely.
I am so fucking screwed. Let me guess, it's already at like 70% destroyed. 64. I'm not even gonna make it this small distance before it's destroyed. Holy shit, 77%. You're gonna offload that right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repair it with some repair spray. with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelium readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines. 
producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just them. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn.